Don't you just love a good utility move? Uh, I happen to love a good utility move. In fact, I love this utility move so much, I'm gonna teach it to you right now. This particular move is a move that allows you to do a lot of things with it. It's not a one trick pony sort of move. Uh, there are so many applications, so many different ideas you can apply to different tricks. And uh, it's a move called the Killer Count, invented by a guy named Steve Beam. Now, I've wanted to teach you this move for a long time now, but since it's Steve Beams, that's one of the best things in his book. Uh, who am I to teach it? You know, it's his thing. Uh, he makes money from these books, and that would just be wrong. And in fact, there's a lot of things like that that I can't teach you on YouTube. So uh, with Steve's permission, uh, I can teach you this move uh, for the first time on this channel. It comes out of a book called Semi-Automatic Card Tricks of Volume 5. Now, I think there's... 12 volumes, if I'm not mistaken, of these books. In fact, you can go to his website, which I'll link down below, and then maybe as a thanks to him for allowing me to teach this on this channel, you can go buy one or two of those volumes. You will not be disappointed. Let's get into it. So what is the killer count? Well, basically what it is, it's a way to come over and cut off from the top of the deck exactly the amount of cards that you need or want in a trick. So let me demonstrate this for you right now. So let's say that I wanted uh, maybe 13 cards uh, for this trick. So all I have to do is come over and reach down and grab 13 cards from the top of the deck. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly 13. Here, let me show you. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 cards. So the best part about this technique is that you can have any card appear at any position. So let's say that I wanted the the nine of spades to appear at number nine. Very simple. All you got to do is come down. Pick up exactly nine cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine card. The nine of spades, there it is. All right, so let's uh, break this thing down. Uh, basically, all it is is the Hammond Count, or the Hammond Switch, uh, by brother John Hammond. And uh, depending on the number they give you, you do something a little bit different uh, for an odd and even number, but we'll get to that here in a minute. So I'll break down and demonstrate what the Hammond count actually is. So just like before, we have nine cards here, and I just count them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you just saw nine blue cards go by. However, I would, this technique allows you to hide cards. In this case, I'm hiding five red cards. All right, so let me break this down for you. I have 10 cards here, and I want to show that I have nine blue cards, okay? So what I'm gonna do is legitimately count four of the blue cards, but on the fifth count, when I take the fifth card, the fifth card is just going to be this entire block, and then I'm going to recount those four cards again by switching the packets. Let me show you what I mean. So we have one, two, three, Four, and on the fifth card, I'm just going to count this whole block as the fifth card, and we do it like this. This is an extreme, extreme exposed view. Uh, on the count of five, we just take the whole packet and sort of pinch it like you're doing a swing cut, right? In that same grip. So you're like this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So uh, let's get some more details on this switch. So I like to hold the packet like this so my index finger is covering pretty much the whole front edge of the packet here. And the tip of my middle finger is on that corner there that's closest to my thumb, right? So you're like this here in this position. So uh, when you go to count, you're going one, two, three, four, and then on the five, what I like to do is sort of, um, bend in my wrist like this. That way I'm sort of like angle jogging this whole packet underneath, but they can't see that, all right? So what's gonna happen, since this upper packet is mostly exposed, it's very easy for my the base of my index finger and my thumb to pinch the corner of this entire block now as one card. So you're five, right? The whole block is counted as the card, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So by having your 
fingers cover pretty much the whole packet and you're counting. And imagine if you actually counted cards for a minute, okay? So normally it's like a big swing motion, right? You're, it's not, it's not static like this. Uh, I don't know why people tend to like do this when they're trying to hide something. Uh, a bigger motion hides us, hides a secret action, right? So uh, act like you're actually counting cards and do this big swinging action uh, like this. So again, at full speed, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So all those cards are hidden. Um, Tommy Wonder um, has a subtlety where in the middle of the count he he briefly pauses for a minute in the middle of while he's talking and and just interrupts it and talks to somebody and then he proceeds the count uh this way but i find this in this any card any number uh method that doesn't always work but if you can find a way to make it work for you then uh i'll leave a link down below to a routine by tommy wonder uh, his wild card routine that uses the hammond count and you'll see what i'm talking about it's just it's just brilliant all right, so to get the amount of cards that you want every time, first we have to take a look at odd numbers versus even numbers, okay? So we're going to start with 12 and 13 as a, as a starting point. All right, so the first thing you want to do is try to legitimately cut 12 cards off and try your best at estimation and uh, see what uh, looks like 12 cards, all right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That was way off, but that can... Uh, indeed pass for 12 cards all right so at first you might want to actually take 12 cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then just uh study and get familiar with what that looks like and what that feels like and it'll help you out a lot when you're doing the fake move all right so that that's 12 cards um just really study what this looks like and what this feels like and that'll help you out later on when you're doing the fake move all right so maybe that's way too many uh good thing i did that practice routine because i knew that was way too many it doesn't matter at all but you, you want to actually get as close as you can here all right so maybe that's 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 hey look at that but of course that's not going to work every time so let's say we took uh actually took 14 like we just did before, but we can still make this look like 12. All right, so for 12 is an even number. So for even numbers, all you have to do is divide it in half. All right, so half of 12 is six. All right, so for an even number, you have to do something a little bit sneaky and you just get a pinky break, a pinky pull down on that bottom card there, all right? So you're here and a good way to hide that, of course, is when you do that and you're saying, yep, that's a sort of like way like this. That, that's exactly uh, 12 cards there. And I've just got my pinky pull down break. So what you wanna do Let's actually take the packet in end grip and transfer that pinky break to a thumb break now, okay? So uh, so we're going to count six cards, all right? But somewhere in the middle of the first six cards, you're going to biddle steal that broken card. So just anywhere before six, that's one, two, maybe on three, three, four. And I've just stolen that broken card on top of this packet, all right? So let me do that again. We've got the pinky break. That's one, two, three, four. Four, I've stolen the card, and then on five, um, or I'm sorry, I'm sit on six. You'll do the secret move. So uh, the half of twelve is six. So on six, you'll do this. You'll do the switch. So uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more time, you just grab some cards. In this case, it's actually fourteen, and you just sort of wait like this up and down and get your break and grip transfer it to a thumb break, do the switch on six, somewhere before six, do the secret biddle still. One, two, this is exposed view, two, three, four, steal, five, six, switch, all right? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. For odd numbers, uh, there's no secret biddle still action, so it's actually a lot easier, okay? So uh, for an odd number, what you have to do is jump to the next number and do half of that. So for since we're doing 13, we want to jump to 14 and use half of that. In that case, it will be 7. So we just do this secret switch on the count of 7 with no biddle still this time, all right? So let's say we want a 13. I actually have no idea how many cards that is. It doesn't matter. It's going to look like 13, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the switch on seven. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So let's say we wanted 17. 17 is an odd number, so we just jump to 18. So half of 18 is 9. So for 17, we'll do the switch on 9, okay? So we we'll try our best to grab 17 cards. That might look like 17 cards. I don't know. So we remember we do the switch on 9 because 9 is half of 18, which is jump ahead once from 17. And it's not very confusing. Once you start to do this a lot, uh, you'll... you'll grasp it instantly all right so 17 so that's one two three four five six seven eight switch nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen Okay, so Steve Beam includes uh, some effects using the killer count in his book, Semi-Automatic Card Tricks, Volume 5. Um, as well, I think in Volume 8, uh, there is an effect using the killer count by Caleb Wiles, which is in any card, any number, which is just brilliant. And uh, definitely check out uh, those volumes and those tricks. Now, I came up with a routine using this uh, that I've been doing a lot. It always gets... Uh, crazy reactions, right? So um, this is what the effect is. So you start off by explaining that you have, uh, you know, when you mess around with cards so much, you begin to develop super sensitive, like spidey senses, uh, fingertips. And so you offer to demonstrate what you're talking about. So at this point, you're going to have a card selected and control to the top using a control called the uh, dribble toss control by Steve Bedwell. Okay, so this is what that looks like. So you would uh, dribble the card and have them say stop, and they do. And so you raise up the packet like this and push over the card so they can see their selection. In this case, it's the four of spades. I just did that. I don't know why I just did that. We'll just take a different one. The queen of diamonds, all right? <laughs> so we'll take that one, the four of diamonds, okay? So what you're gonna do is uh, dribble this pack on the table, right? The undribbled, por uh, the undribbled portion. And as you do that, it's going to look like you toss it into the, the dribble there, but you don't. In fact, what you do is the pullback move used in the, the old rub dub vanish move, right? So it's just that pullback move. And you're doing that in the dribble, making it look like that card is going into the dribble. So here's fast speed. So they say stop somewhere. Uh, they look at their card, in this case, the four diamonds. You just toss it in somewhere, and then it looks like it goes somewhere around here, but really it's uh, on top of the deck. So what you're doing here is, like I said, showing them the card, pretending to toss it into the dribble. This is slow motion, right? Just pull it right back as those go on there and then take these it's really on top right there already so just take these and then dribble those on top as well and then uh right back on top so here's the presentation you just do that control say like uh, i'll show you what i mean right so we uh they say stop they look at their card for a spades you toss it in right or pretend to toss it in and then you say look um, judging just from my spidey senses and my sensitive fingertips, I know exactly that your your card is uh, exactly at 39, and I know that due to my sensitive fingertips. And that's really convincing. I mean, there's, they're going to be very convinced that their card is exactly at 39, but really it's on top. So what you're going to do now is say, look, would you be impressed if I could just drop cards like this and grab your four of spades out exactly from 39, and they might say, yeah, I, mean, I, I get, yeah, sometimes, or they, maybe sometimes, maybe. And then you say, that might be impressive, but maybe not too impressive because, well, I put it there so I know exactly where it is. And then you offer to do something better, which is, it might be better if I could take it out from 39 and put it somewhere else, a position named by you, right, or, or, or whatever, wherever you want me to put it, right, so, and you say, look, from 39, let's put it somewhere above 39, and then maybe somewhere between 10 and 20, and so, if they, and they can name any number between 10 and 20, it doesn't matter at all, because, well, you'll do the move, right, so, let's say they do name 13, so, all you're gonna do here is faint it first, right, so, attempt it first, and say, look, Oh, I missed it. That was that was uh, that was 32. Let me let me try again, and then really make it seem like you're trying, right? Because after all, this this is a a feat of card mastery, right? So now uh, do some warm up actions like this. So I'll try it one more time. Get my fingers warmed up. From 39, your card 
to 13, your number. Here we go. And now I got to do here is dribble the deck and, and just pull one card out. And a tip on this is if you uh, dribble the cards completely straight, wow, my dog is barking really loud. I'm sure you can hear that. Sorry, forgive me. <laughs> and uh, what you're gonna do is, it would be a lot harder to try to grab a card uh, if you dribble them straight uh, straight across. But if you just tilted it like this at it, maybe a 45, de a 45 degree angle like this, it's a lot easier to grab a card like this just by inserting your fingers in there. So you're like this. Try to grab a card from where you think 39 might be and then just grab one out like this and then toss it in somewhere where you think 13 might be make it look convincing right so you're like this all right here we go from from 39 to 13 say ooh, i nailed it now you pick up the deck and you say look i could just count down to 13 cards but I really want to impress you. I really want to show you how sensitive my fingers can be. And so the only way I can prove that to you is if I actually went down and picked up exactly 13 cards. So here you just do the move, uh, pick up some cards, maybe what you think is 13 as we just uh, discussed and uh, just do the move. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Your card, the four of spades, exactly from 39 uh, to 14. And you drop cards, that's, that's very important for the trick. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you learned something new or if you got value out of this video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and sub to the channel. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.